videos with Aussie Bossy Knit Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a long tail cast on. It's um, a pretty easy cast on and I know that there's a million tutorials out there so why do another one? I did this one as part of a video that I made about the anatomy of a long tail cast on and how it all works um, and to measure it. I'll put a link below if the measuring of a long tail is something that you struggle with. You can check out that video, um, uh, but I promised that I would put a link to a shorter version of just the long tail cast on, so that's what this is. Anyway, let's get started. And that's where I'm gonna put my slip knot. It's just right there. And I'm gonna actually go in detail on how to do the long tail. Um, if you wanna watch just that part, I have another video that's gonna be just this. Anyway, so the long tail is closest to you and the tail attached to the ball is further away from you. We're going to pick up both tails with our ring and pinky and hold them in place. And then we're gonna use our index and thumb finger to make a slingshot. And I just did something weird with my middle finger, so here we go, just like that, slingshot. Wiley Coyote is ready for action. All right, so now to cast on. We'll take our knitting needle, insert it on the outside of the thumb, pick that yarn up, come around to our index finger, pick that yarn up, and we're just pulling it through the thumb yarn. Just like we saw, it holds that yarn in place and travels up the needle. So let go with your thumb you can use your thumb to pull this out, or tight, or not too tight. Um, and now you're back in slingshot for the next stitch. So let's do that again. Pick up from the thumb, come over to the index finger, pick that up, bring it through the thumb, release, and tighten with the thumb not too tight. Something I'm doing that I haven't mentioned is I'm using this index finger from my right hand to space out my stitches. Um, this is a trick that I just kind of taught myself. I don't know if other people do it, but it helps me measure the gap um, between my stitches on the cast on so that it can match my knitting. So feel free to use that if it's helpful for you or not. All right, so that is how you do the long tail cast on. Again, if you struggle with the measurement part, there will be a um, link below to the video where I go over how to do the long tail measurement. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to connect with me more, I'm on Instagram as Aussie Lazy Knits, and I have a Facebook page, Aussie Lazy Knit Designs, or you can uh, go onto my website. My blog is www.aussielazyknitdesigns.com. Thanks so much and happy knitting. Thank you.